I'm channeling my inner Dan Campbell. I don't know if you guys saw it, but the Detroit Lions are projected at nine and a half wins. The Detroit Lions will be going 11 and six. <laughs> This upcoming season, lock it in, write it down, place a prize pick, code MMG. I don't care. It's gonna happen. If you're a Packers fan, a Vikings fan, or a Bears fan, I hope you're ready for the Detroit Lions dynasty to run the poverty NFC North for the next 10 straight years. Hey, congratulations, Vikings, on your two-point victory margin and choking to Danny Dimes. Congratulations, Bears, on getting DJ Moore. Congratulations, Packers, on your franchise QB, Jordan Love. <laughs> we own the this division now. It's all ogre. You're in my swamp now, buddy. I just needed to get that off my chest before we move into this beautiful Wheel of Mud season. Our current record is four and one. Four wins and one loss. We make the playoffs with one more win and we actually have the cushion to lose another game. But let's not think that way. Let's just think about winning. We are into official God Squad territory. Our team is a 96 overall with a 97 offense and a 95 defense. A lot of this is thanks to the fact that I have so many prestiges and they had two rage quits. Two rage quits is crazy. But let's talk about the team. So the good, the bad, and the ugly. The good, my offensive line all has abilities. The bad is Zach Martin, Roger Saffold, and Isaiah Wynn is out of position. But Jason Kelsey and Abraham Lucas are endgame players, so we're good there. My wide receivers and tight ends are spectacular. Team of the year, George Kittle, Hawkinson, Scary Terry, Calvin Johnson, Justin Jefferson. My backfield is absolutely insane. I virtually can't make an offensive upgrade unless I replace offensive linemen. Now, defensively, the same could not be said. Clay Matthews definitely still needs a few more upgrades. He's so close, though. Clay Matthews is two significant stats or two rage quits away from being maxed out into ultimate legend Clay Matthews. But for now, he still honestly sucks. Like, he has 86 speed right now. Troy Palomalu still hasn't gotten an ultimate legend. Now, granted, I do have to record this video before Easter. And there's a reason for that. I do have the option to get some Easter eggs on the wheel. I'm hoping we can get one of those today because it'd be awesome if I could get eggs today and then in the episode that drops after Easter, you guys would be able to see all those, but you guys might be seeing this video Easter Sunday because that's when it drops. So if you're watching this on Easter Sunday, happy Easter. If you're not religious or you don't celebrate Easter, happy Kwanzaa or... Um, uh, read the Quran. Quran. Actually, you know what? I don't give a shit. All right? It's a mystery Easter egg in Madden 23. You think I give a shit if you're religious? I don't care. So, Troy Palomalu, please get an ultimate legend this upcoming wave so that I can stop being such a baby back bitch. Alex Heisman's awesome. I'd probably replace JPP eventually. Uh, and Trayvon Diggs could get replaced. The thing is, like, all these players could get replaced with a better version, but all of them are also really good already, so I'm not, like, I'm not tweaking. All right, gentlemen, four and one. This is a pretty big game right here we could take it straight to the playoffs with a w otherwise it's gonna get spooky with a loss it's the unopened weekly wildcard faceback. All right, bet. I, I'm going to be totally honest with you guys. I literally do not know what solo challenge or what this came from, but this is the weekly wildcard fantasy pack, and it has a ton of weekly wildcard players in it, and I can choose one of them. So it's got tons of 94s, Xander Horvath, Eric Rowe, Amani Oruarie, Riley Reed, but then it's got some 97s too. So there's Jalen Smith, there's Kirby Joseph. I think this is a 97. Well, that might be Montgomery. It is. It's David Montgomery, and I think this is our last 97. 97, it's Abraham Lucas, who's already on the squad. And then the rest of these, I believe, are 94s. Yes. All right, we don't need David Montgomery. Kirby Joseph, hilariously, would be a, probably a pretty big upgrade on Palomalu. Kirby Joseph is three inches taller, three more speed, six more tackle, a little less hit power, but more man and zone. Kirby Joseph's actually a lot better. Damn, do I shore up Palomalu right now and then just wait until he gets his upgrade? The only other thing I could do is I could take Jalen Smith and make Jalen Smith my user over Ray Nitschke. How does he stack up to Ray Nitschke. Ray Nitschke is an inch taller, but Jalen Smith is three speed faster. More acceleration, way less strength though on Jalen Smith. More tackle, more play like same block shed. Ray Nitschke hits a little harder and has better zone coverage. So who would we replace? I'm gonna be honest. Ray Nitschke has been a dog. Ray Nitschke has been an absolute dog. Troy Palomalu has gotten torched at least once an episode. It Like it feels kind of messed up to do this, but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna take Kirby Joseph here. I do want to see his abilities super quick. Let's see his abilities because this 
will play a factor, but dude, he actually, that's so messed up. He's a lot better than Troy Palomalu. So mid zone KO would actually be not bad because we we have noticed that Troy Palomalu ends up in the mid zone relatively often. Could also go deep out or deep in zone and medium route KO. Well, at strong safety, I'd want deep in zone KO. And I might just go mid zone KO. So anytime Kirby Joseph is involved, he's going to be bonking that ball out. I'm cool with this. So for two AP, we get mid and deep in zone. The one thing that Palomalu had on Kirby Joseph was Acrobat. Palomalu had one AP Acrobat, which is a crazy good ability. So we will miss that. And I'll make sure to activate Kirby Joseph's abilities mid and deep zone plus universal coverage. I'm excited for him, man. I just, I feel bad. I feel bad for Troy P. I also apologize if you're watching this video and it's already dropped. That'll be real stupid. But hey, I did what I did. Our second wheel spin right here is 50K or quadruple it with a win. I got this from that stupid ass double it and pass it to the next person. How about how about doubling an original idea and passing it to the next person? Oh wait, you make fucking TikToks for a living. You'd have no idea how to do that. All right, so I can either spend 50K on one player right now or if I win, I get 200K. And with how good my team is, this is an obvious decision for me. We're gonna take the quadruple. So in the event of a W, I'll get 200K to spend on one player. And 200K could get you... Oh yeah, you get some heat for 200k potentially could pick up a d tackle too could potentially could get a better corner than trayvon Diggs. potentially could grab a new left guard or right guard so yeah a lot of good options we just will have to wait and see i'm gonna gamble it so we're gonna hold off on that wheel spin and hopefully go for the big big w here our third wheel spin then is what let's see we got easter hey and would you look at that guys i actually wrote top 12 so easter top 12 we sort by the program sugar rush i know it's not technically called easter gotta be politically correct <laughs> UEA. EA, suck my dick! Yeah, is that politically correct, huh? Go tell that to Sleepy Joe, EA. Ugh. All right, Sugar Rush. And I can choose out of the top 12 players, but I got to sort by time remaining. So not by now, Price. We go here, we go time remaining. And I can choose out of these 12 players. Where's the 98? 98. There's no 98s. Yo, I guess the problem is there's so many 90s in this promo. Damn. Okay, so what are my options? There's 96 Akeem Davis Gaither. There's 96 John Kaminsky. There's 96 Cortland Sutton. Now, technically, I could get John Kaminsky and I could sub him in. I technically could sub him in where Alex Highsmith is, or I could move John Kaminsky to my D tackle too. The only other real option is Cortland Sutton. I kind of want Cortland Sutton just because I want him, but like Megatron. Yeah, my other players are too good. All right, well, this is a weird one, but I guess it, it actually is going to be a pretty significant D tackle two upgrade. I think John Kaminsky will be, he will be significantly better than Pierre Paul. John Kaminsky is 6'5, 285 with 93 speed, 90 block shed. 94 power moves. This has nothing to do with the fact that I channeled my inner Dan Campbell, but I just so happened to fall upon two Detroit Lions. So let's see. JPP is an 85. John Kaminsky is an 89. It's not a big difference at all. Now, if John Kaminsky gets a zero AP ability, though, I will be pretty happy about this. Do you get a zero AP ability that I can actually use? Gets three. Gets Mr. Big Stop, Reach Elite, or Strip Specialist. I think Reach Elite might actually be kind of cracked here. Yo, we got a new look defense with some Detroit Lions. Palomalu has been relegated to the bench, which is so crazy to say out loud. Because when would Troy Palomalu in any real scenario ever get benched? And he got benched by a fucking rookie, Kirby Joseph. John Kaminsky's in at D-tackle too. Nitschke's still holding down the middle. Our little Packers linebacker core here. Clay Matthews, let's get him an upgrade. My defensive line's looking beautiful. My corners are cracked out of their minds. Eric Berry, looking to have a solid game here. He's been wishy-washy, bro. And offense is still just as spectacular as ever. Shit's looking good, man. We're at 96 overall with no excuses to lose. Let's rip a challenge wheel. We'll hop in here. Oh my gosh, I just realized. Oh my gosh, I didn't get any... I didn't get any eggs. You thought you knew the rules to Wheel of Mud, huh? Well, guess what? You guys are seeing this on Easter Sunday, right? So happy Easter. Here's what we're doing for a little Wheel of Mud Easter special. There's a large egg basket. It gets two small eggs, five medium, and three large. I'm gonna pick one egg, and I'm gonna open it in the next episode of Wheel of Mud. It's gonna be added to the squad. Oh, let's go! And we start out with an extravagant egg. I'm pretty sure this egg for anyone wondering. Some of those eggs don't actually have like the little bunny and the flex on it. It quick sells for 110k. I feel strongly that this is a 96 plus Sugar Rush player. So that actually would be really good. So our next egg, medium, 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 large. Okay, so that one isn't extravagant. Can we get one more extravagant? Come on, baby. Give me one of the cracked, fucking cracked extravagants. 
Bam. So two large eggs. Ooh. So we get two large eggs and we get this one extravagant egg. All right, boys. I will be opening this extravagant egg right here at the start of next episode of Wheel About, which you guys will see on Wednesday, April 12th. So stay tuned. All right. The challenge wheel is spinning a pack of our choice from the store or salvaging a player in the loss is on the line here. One player needs a touchdown and a hundred or more yards. This is one of my favorite ones. I'm glad that we get this one so often because you know at least one player on our squad is going to go off, right? We just got to get them those stats. We got Herbo, Sauce Gardner, and PS2. He's got Michael Vick, Jay Jettas, and Herman Moore. Oh, yeah. Yo, by the way, before this game starts, huge shout out to Instant Madden Coins for always sponsoring my videos. The best place to get Madden 23 coins. You can always trade them for limited players. And once the limited is on your account, you can quick sell it. That is the safest way to buy coins. Code MMG will get you 10% off. Let's ball out, boys. Hey, so we're playing. This dude's got Lions Classic Unis on. I think he's passing here. We're going to send a bat blitz right here. I'm going to see if Clay Matthews can get home early. Nope, he's gonna throw to King Henry, who of course is gonna light us up, but Ray Nitschke's there to clean up. He wants to do literally the exact same thing, but I'm not gonna blitz this time. He's gonna throw quick. He's gonna get nervous. I'm going on Micah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah! Oh! <laughs> PS2. Almost could have came down with it. Ooh, got lots covered and he's down! All right, we're guessing pass. I'm sending some heat. I'm gonna go cover Derrick Henry. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah! Yeah! Not this time. PS2's there to break it up. I'm actually gonna send the same blitz, but I'm gonna go with Nitschke this time. Play action. We're home! Somebody! Clay! 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 Uh, wait, what? No! That wasn't Darnell Dockett. That was fucking Clay Matthews. Bro, I just watched Clay Matthews drag him to the ground, and then they zoom in on Darnell Dockett, and it says Darnell Dockett one sack. No way! What are you talking about? That's utter shit. It's utter shit is what it is. First and ten. I'm just gonna go double posts. See if we have time to sit back here and actually light this up. We don't. No. Oh my god, and I couldn't even get rid of it. Ooh, I see press coverage on Justin Jefferson. One of my favorite things to see. I'm just gonna try and, and take out that press coverage. I'm going for it. It's kind of risky, but I'm going for it! No way, really? I kind of high-pointed that ball, and I still lost that. He's gonna motion Jefferson over. How did Sauce Gardner get that ball? Looks like Derrick Henry's coming across the middle. <sighs> nice ball. Really nice ball. Hey! Big heater! John Kaminsky again! I don't want him hitting me with some crazy shit. Oh, he had that. Oh, he still hits it. Wow. The guy's throwing really nice freeforms. He's going for it. Oh, he's gonna run it. Dock it! No! What the fuck was that? That was so lucky. Darnell Dockett got to him, and Micah just pushed him in? In what football scenario ever would you push the running back into the end zone? No game awareness at all. That was so stupid. Looks like he's gonna run Mike Blitz pretty much every play. The run's gonna be really solid here. He switches off. Let's see if he can stop this run. If I just go for it again. And he switches off again. Good God, you're a pussy. Get stiff-armed. <laughs> Barry over the middle, what a snag. Oh my God, what the fuck? <laughs> Whoa, he fumbled the back somewhere there. George Kittle was just unbelievably wide open. Let's see if we can just walk Barry in here. Going left side, Barry's got a decent angle. He switches off again. What are you, just watching Madden get played? You haven't made a tackle all game. See if I can't hit George Kittle here. Damn, double team over there. Hey, listen, man. If I want to play Madden this late in the season, this is always what it's going to look like. God squads and man coverage. Peter got home on Mike Vick. Probably a corner route. Okay, he goes to Derrick Henry and a very nice tackle there. I'm just gonna go for the pass here. Let's see if we can see if we can just bottle this up. He's gonna go play action. I don't think he has anything. He just honestly, I don't know how he threw that bad of a ball. I was kind of hoping I could pick that off. Oh, he missed the ball. He missed it. I don't know if we got to him with under pressure or what, but honestly, that was there. He's literally gonna run Mike Blitz. Every single play the entire game. And when it comes to making a tackle, he's going to switch off every single tackle. I really want to hit George Kittle. All right. Second and 13. I'm going Barry. I knew his user was there, but I still wanted to try it. 
I'm gonna try Justin Jefferson. Fuck man coverage. This shit is so stupid, man. I'll take another fucking field goal. He doesn't have to do a goddamn... He doesn't have to do a thing ever. Oh, just play the game, bro. Make one tackle, please. All right, gentlemen. We are down by one at halftime. Cannot... I can't move the ball right now. I gotta figure it out. Oh, I gotta figure it out. But we're playing really good defense. I, I strongly believe that his one touchdown was an absolute fluke. Oh, great block. Dude, Barry Sanders with a chop of a fucking lifetime. And a lot of people were open there. Oh, Barry just fucking cooked Leon Sandcastle. Got him. Scary Terry. Let's fucking go. Herbo's gonna take off. <laughs> Woo! Let's fucking go. This is so exciting. Ooh, got him right there. Megatron! Megatron! Dot. Fucking laser. Tutty. Get your ass in there! Let's go! Oh yeah, let's get one more, boys. Punch this in. I'm running this bitch ass. Let's go. Two-point convert. Barry, you better. Bro, I watched Derrick Henry get pushed in from three yards out. You're telling me Barry didn't get that right there. I've got the underneath covered on Derrick Henry. I just gotta go user with Nitschke. Go find what he wants. I love when they're rattled. Oh, Derrick Henry. You want it, don't you? Fourth and nine. All right, no more heat. No more heat. We're guessing pass. Yeah, let's see it. I'm there. I'm there. Let's fucking go. Honestly, a dog shit interception because I lose yards, but he's boxed. Scary Terry. Beautiful. Yeah, don't even switch on, right? Why play the game? Why not just let the computer play the game? Clay Matthews. They did say Clay Matthews has one and a half sacks. We, we got to get to the end of this game first, but we'll talk about that. Second and eight. I'm looking for George Kittle. I have yet to throw to George Kittle out of this. Oh, he torched him. Let's fucking go. Kittle. Got him. Kittle's too damn good, dude. One amazing thing I'll say, man, is he is short on timeouts. Let's see if we get a good block here on this right side. You're fucking joking. I'm just gonna kind of look between Megatron and Scary Terry. How? How did you two- how, how did you three just walk through- Whoa! Can't tick any clock when they get through that fast. He's not blitzing off that side. Oh yeah. Got him. <gasps> You're shitting me and you knocked that fucking ball out? Hey listen, we'll make it 15 to 7. He has not scored since getting that dog shit Derrick Henry touchdown. So even if he scores and gets the two point here, I can still go down and kick a field goal. That is, that's a mistake by me though. I should have looked at the score like this and said to myself, I got to take a PAT here. Clay, Clay, a bubble. And Clay doesn't pick it up. This fucking bozo does. Clay, Matt, wait, oh my God, Clay just got, oh, Clay's maxed. Clay just got a forced fumble. It, it, he's maxed. Two minute warning pops up. He has no timeouts. It's honestly probably better for him. He wants there to be no time left if he's going to score. Second and 23. Let's see if he blocks Derrick Henry. If he blocks Derrick Henry, I got to be ready for the post route. Yeah, he blocked. I got to go to post. Got to go to the post. Clay, a fucking get. Are you shitting me, Clay? He's gone. And he's gone. And he's gone. Clay Matthews owns you. Oh my God. Oh, that's why we fight, gentlemen. That's why we don't give up. The playoffs are up next, baby. We are five and one. Next game is the wild card. Oh my God, what a game. Yo, Clay Matthews, 91 overall with three and a half sacks and a forced fumble. Hell of a ball game, buddy. It's time for your upgrade. Mr. Clay Matthews, a little more than I expected to spend on him. This is probably not his average, but I'm not MM broke. I'm gonna ball out and get Clay Matthews because we earned it. Ultimate legend Clay Matthews joins the team just in time for the playoffs. And let's just do a little stat comparison here. So let's compare this Clay Matthews to the Clay Matthews that just got three and a half sacks and a forced fumble. So plus eight speed, plus seven acceleration, plus seven strength, plus five tackle, plus seven play rec, plus nine block shedding. Yo, and not to mention, we got to get the nasty abilities out of him. Since he's a limited, he should have really cool abilities. Gets lurker for zero. No outsiders would be really good doubler. Nothing would be really good. I'm gonna run Crusher for one. 
And I'm gonna run edge, try to leap for one. He's a fucking savage. Two things here. Number one, if you remember at the start of the episode, I had 50,000 coins or quadruple it. So I have 200,000 coins to spend on one player. I'm gonna go see if I can get a left guard upgrade. I have Roger Saffold in there right now. If there's a 95 left guard though, I'd way rather have that. 210,000 coins. So he's just a little bit too expensive. Instead, what I'm gonna grab is a corner. So right now I have a 94 Trayvon Diggs. But if I can grab a 95 right now for a similar price or less than 200K, that'd be amazing. Yeah, so I can definitely get a 95 corner less than 200K. How does Richard Sherman stack up against Trayvon Diggs? Same speed, but he's two inches taller. More in most other stats, except for man coverage. I'm not beating around the bush. I'm taking Richard Sherman. He also should have at least like free pick artist or something. Most players do. Also, I have a proposition for EA. EA, instead of all this horse shit discounted abilities nonsense, why don't you just let every player have certain abilities just at the same cost and okay, none of this discounted bullshit. And then we can just pick and choose. So that way my Kirby Joseph isn't worse than Palomalo because of some random discounted ability chosen by one random fucking monkey at your headquarters. I'm gonna count that as a rage quit only because we did not get to finish our challenge wheel and it's a 93 jackpot. Well, it is very circumstantial, but there have been times in Wheel of Mutt playoffs where I've actually punted the football. My current punter is an 85 overall core elite, so he probably would only punt the ball like 30 or 40 yards. So why don't we grab, and actually sets us up for a pack a punch too, if it ever became possible. We're gonna grab the Scottish Hammer. The Scottish Hammer's 93 overall. It's not the 96. We don't get the tier boosts, but we still get a really solid punter. All right, gentlemen, that was one hell of an episode. I'm so so glad we squeaked out the dub. That's it for today's episode. What an awesome game. I'll see you guys in the next episode with the wild card playoffs. I love you. Thanks for watching as always. I'll see you guys then. Peace.